Okay. Yeah, so I uh, met with Dr. Yang, talked about starting the DNA appliance, and initially I went, was interested from a longevity standpoint of getting more oxygen. And then as I got down the treatment path, uh, my sleep was improving uh, pretty quickly. My breathing through my airway here, my nasal airway, uh, was much better. I could really get air through there at night, uh, so that improved. Um, a lot of, uh, at first six or eight months, just uh, uh, you could feel the, the cranial bones kind of going to where they wanted to be, just a little micro adjustments, it, and also with the spine. So uh, I've had a little bit of a scoliosis, that's getting better, it's just taking the pressure off and unwinding. So I'm getting sort of uh, head to sacrum, this feels better, so sleep is better, feels, sports are better. Um, yeah, it's just a slow progression over about a year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. And then doing other things, diet improvement. I used to have these really dark circles under here, and those were about reduced by about half, so that means I'm getting more sleep, yeah. more rested. Mm -hmm. So, um, Tell us about your history, please. My history... Uh, Braces. Right, so when I was uh, young, I had, I think, four teeth pulled. And then braces, uh, so I didn't really understand what what all that, what happened at that point. But, and that was pretty standard, I think, back then. I don't think this uh, was around. No, but you're I, right. But I came to Doctor. I started to work with a uh, new, holistic nutritional person out where I live in Reston. Yeah. And then I was talking with her about dental care, and and she recommended I talk to Doctor Liao. So I first came to him for. And I, let me, should I get a root canal or get an implant or how should I go? And then he said, hey, you should get evaluated for the DNA appliance. So I did that because it made sense. And now, now I kind of feel like it should be pretty standard for children. Because at the root cause, we grow up on this uh, American diet. So it doesn't seem like we fully build out this whole palate area. So we're kind of handicapped from the start. Mm -hmm. and now you probably see more of this than I do, but it seems like uh, that would be the, the start of it, but uh, it's hard to get people to do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. for me, it's been great. It's just been well, Brian, I just want to thank you for being a teacher for all of us. Because yeah. okay. your experience is what informs us yeah. uh, as clinicians. So. In the athletics, it's, uh, it seems like there's, I do the same routine, but now uh, there's less fatigue. I seem to have more stamina. More oxygen getting in, and recovery is, is better. And tell us about what your yoga co yoga instructor's comment was. Oh, I did. Well, maybe after two weeks of doing this, he just stopped me in the middle and goes, "That's the best, you know, triangle that you've ever done." <laughs> <I'm assuming. laughs> wow. So I wear it all the time. I want to wear it, um, so it's easy to do. You, when there's improvement, it's just easy to stay on the treatment plan. And it's just the upper. So far, it's just the upper, and then the night. Um, oh, the face mask. And uh, that's easy to get used to. Uh -huh. And um, Have you felt like your bite has changed at all? Yeah, my bite's uh, much different. Mm -hmm. um, it's better. There's still, uh, the top is still moved. There's still more distance to go, but yeah, it feels much better. How about <clears throat> eating and swallowing? Eating and swallowing is uh, fine. No yeah, complications? It's, it's easy to, like, you, there's little nip changes, but it's easy to adjust to and get used to it. You've been in treatment for how long? Maybe uh, over a year, maybe 14, 15 months, something like that, I think. Um, I'm on my second upper appliance <coughs> now. 